Hello and welcome to the Auntie Donna podcast. Because it was Valentine's Day, uh, we thought we'd do something a little bit different. We'd bring in a guest uh, that you all loved very much. We've got sexologist and sex expert, um, friend of the podcast on, Mr. Sexy. So, Mr. Sexy, I have yeah, a question right. for you. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, it's been said, mm. it's been said um, that the biggest actual organ is the mind. Mm. Do you want to talk to that a little bit? Well, yeah, the biggest organs are skin. So <laughs> that's why when we're out in the field, you've got to look after it. You've got to get the uh, sunscreen on there. Okay, sure. Because uh, when you're over 50, you should be getting a mole map every year. Make sure anything's moving or growing. And I bet you, that... you would know a bit about moles on different nude bodies, Mr. Sexy. Yeah. So <laughs> essentially, if you fall into three categories... Okay. One of which, then you do need to get regularly mole mapped. So one okay, would be, sure. do you have a history of melanomas in your family? Oh. If that's the case, then yeah, you get in regularly to get checked on any spots that might be moving. The other one is major burns. So if you've had more than three major sunburns in your life, we're talking blistering and things like that, yeah. then you do need to get regular checks to make sure that they're not growing into something that can be a bit more worrying. And the third... <laughs> Okay. okay, yeah. And the third being yeah. uh, uh, age and exposure. So if you if you are over 50, then you've mm. had more time in the sun purely by being alive longer. So I, that's what we they, they do suggest that if you're over 50, and a lot of the old farmers go, oh, I don't need that carry on. But actually, it's really important to get in there and get those maps checked and get that get, get that body organised and say, oh, I'm a bit worried about this freckle on the neck or that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've heard it there first from Mr. Sexy. Oh, okay. Are, are you hearing that, Mr. Sexy? Is that just in my headphones? Or yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's some sort of uh, a ghost or spirit. I can hear that. Yeah. yeah. You're hearing that? I'm not sure. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. Who are you? I'm the uh, ghost of uh, sexy uh, future. Erotic massage. What's your thoughts, guys? <laughs> Oil yeah, up. We got a, um, we got a Mayo. We're going to town a little bit, going to Wangaratta and get a Mayo. Mayo therapy. My back's I bet cooked. My with back's your cooked. Partner. No, not with it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're going to town. There's a physio there. If you've got high caps, you can get a rebate on that. And, um, Give you a few stretches to do, okay. Because I've been on the back of the Ute chucking out yeah, the males yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. That's good that you're admitting you need help on the stretching and everything. Well, the doctor told me I referred me out to go because yeah. I said my back's cooked and I can't get out of bed. One morning a few years ago, couldn't get out of bed, just absolutely stuffed. Oh yeah. And so um, <laughs> shouldn't have to wait that long, Mrs. Sexy. <laughs> What, what are your, uh... For what? <laughs> so you shouldn't have to wait till you can't get out of bed before you go see a physio, Mr. Sex. Well, yeah, I always thought you just still, you know, do your best. Can I get some advice? Yeah. On one, what's the best place to take your lover uh, for a meal before, on Valentine's Day, make a special occasion? And two... What is the best way to deal with a kidnapper that mm -hmm. has taken a family member of yours that you want back? Well, the first thing I'd tell you to do is get on the phone now to Yakin Dan the pub. Yep. See if they've got room on Valentine's Day because that's going to book out quick and they'll do you a great lunch. So their phone number. So you've got to do that right now. That's yeah. the Star Hotel in Yakin Dan. Yep. So it's got, it's a great pub. Really good people working there. Yeah. Um, O2. O2's the area code? Don't call them, guys. O2's the area code? Is uh, there one yeah, day yeah. a year? They've, they've been struggling. They've probably been what struggling post-COVID. That's right. So I want you to go and support the Yak Oh, go there? Yeah. Yeah, if, if we have fans, go to Yak and Dander and support this pub. Here's what they're doing at the moment, right? Can and I your, guess? Your missus here. Is there a pulled pork situation? I think so, yeah. yeah. But this is the thing. They've got a barbecue platter you can do now. Pretty fancy, eh? Nice. Not just the counter meals, though. You've got a um, 
a carbonara pasta. Oh, nice. Yeah, great. You got, um, can you put that music back on? You got the um, <laughs> mushroom fettuccine. Nice, nice. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's great. What the, Moroccan uh, beef salad. Hey, that's nice. Chicken what if you want something a little parma. heartier? What if you want something a little... Chicken like, parma. A bit of red meat. Oh, you got that barbecue platter. There's the party. beef burger. Yeah. Any uh, any oysters, anything like that, any aphrodisiacs? We got the steaks as well. You got a scotch scotch steak, 300 grams, 46 bucks. They're doing a pepper sauce? We, um... Yeah. Yeah, great. Oh. All comes with chips and salad, obviously. BDSM, booze and nuts. All right. Do. Check clear shrubs for the year before summer comes in. Before summer roll, rolls in, get rid of all the kindling, essentially. Any any twigs and leaves and things like that. Are you thinking of bushfires? Yeah, so I've said BDSM, I think you're talking about. <laughs> Sort of preparing for bushfire season. BDSM. <laughs> yeah. Bush don't smoke. Smoke more. More. Bush, Bush don't, don't smoke, smoke more. more. <laughs> well, it's true. Get rid of the kindling. Get rid of the kindling and Bush don't smoke more. Now. <laughs> <laughs> BDSM. Uh, you, future sexy man. <laughs> Future sexy do's and don'ts of BDSM. Go get that music, please. Go get that music back in, and then step one. <laughs> step one, yeah. Safe words. Have a fun safe word. Make make it something like no 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 burning off today. No burning off today is a great safe word. Could be shorter. Let's work on one for you. So if you're total getting... fire ban, shorter, shorter, maybe Ooh. just fire ban, fire ban, fire ban. So then that way you and your lover, mm. they know. When... Sorry, if you're con- you might be confused here. I was talking about bush. Don't smoke, smoke more. More. Oh right. BDSM. Right. BDSM. Get out your hose. Wet the f- wet, the... wet wet the lawn. Wet the lawn. Keep your lawn wet. Yeah. That's all I know. Wet the roof. Don't get in the car. Don't get in the car. Don't get in high the winds, car. High winds and hot weather, get out of there. Get out of there, but if it's too late, don't get in the car. Have, an, have a uh, exit strategy. It's just stuff. It's just stuff at yeah. the end of the day. It's not more <laughs> important than your life. Yeah. Unless it's a really good photo book. No. Oh, yeah. Well, if you've got a good vinyl collection, the heat will melt that. Take that. No, don't. Don't. It's just stuff. Don't take that. It's just stuff. Your life is more important. That's right. Get out of there. Have a have a plan. There's something quite liberating about a podcast that was never on the rails. You know? 